Hello everyone. Thank you for watching Edupedia World videos. In this video, we will learn about the types of table buffers and buffer quality. The table buffers lie in the shared memory. There is a single record table buffer tab LP and a generic or a full table buffer tab L. So we have two types of table buffers. One is a single record table buffer and the other is the generic or full table buffer. Okay, so they are identified this buffer. These are the two types of table buffer types. TAB, LP, TAB, L. The two table buffers differ primarily in how they manage the free storage areas and their displacement mechanisms. So, the table buffers like how we differentiate these two table buffers is how the free space in the table buffer is managed and the other is the displacement mechanisms. The individual records of tables with single record buffering are managed in single record table buffer tab LP. Okay, so the individual records of tables when we talk about a single record table buffering, okay, so these are managed in uh, the individual records of tables are managed in single record table buffering, okay. And when we talk about generic or full table buffering, okay, so gen generally the total the full tables are managed in this type of buffering. So the individual records are managed in single record table buffering and the full tables are managed in the generic buffering. The individual generic areas are managed in the buffer like autonomous fully buffered tables. Okay, so these are the two types of table buffers. Now, buffer quality. The buffer quality is very important. The buffer monitor permits you to look at the statistical data on the table buffer and on individual tables. The buffer monitor can be started from SAP using transaction STO2. So, STO2 it shows about the buffers. Okay, it, you have you have the various buffers. So here you have the hit ratio, the allocated space, the free space, free space percentage. Okay, and and the other things. Okay, so here you have different types of memories also. Okay, so this ST from STO2 you can check what are the different types of buffers the free space the total space and the hit ratios and the quality and so from sto2 what you can see an overview of all buffers in database calls appear so that's what so here you can check all the different types of buffers here you can look at the buffer utilization of your server during the last few days by choosing history so if you go to this history you can see for the last few days okay with current parameters you can display the current valid profile parameters of buffer sizes so this current parameters it shows you like what are the sizes of various buffers so it will show you all those parameters by selecting generic key you get the detailed information on generic key buffering and by selecting single record you get the information on single record buffering okay so if you double click on each of this generic key and single record in table buffering it will take you to what are those uh, you will get more details about those buffers now an important thing when we talk about buffer turing is the sizes of the buffer okay sizes of the buffers have to be defined in such a way that they are of optimal if the buffer size is very less okay then frequently you have to do swaps right so you have to bring data and send it out okay to to get some other buffer table you have to flush the current table which is in the buffer so less size of the buffer is bad similarly if the buffer size is very high okay if the buffer size is high then too much memory is wasted for buffers only okay so most SAP memory okay one part of SAP memory is buffers we have other areas also right extended memory the heap the roll area and all these things so it's it's not always suggested to 
keep the buffers too high. Okay, you are simply wasting the operating system memory. And then for other operations like uh, heap memory will be used and paging has to be done. Okay, so that will put an impact on the operating server. So that's why the buffer sizes are to be defined optimally. Okay, so the two types of buffer are the gender key and the single record. You can check them from STO2. Okay, so here one more important thing is that what is this hit ratio? This hit ratio should be high. It, it should be generally greater than 95%, 99%. Okay, for most of the buffers. When we talk about table buffers, okay, see initially when you start an SAP system, all the buffers are empty. Okay, so slowly when you start reading some data, so for the first time it's read from the database and kept into the buffer. That's why after certain days after system startup, the buffers are constructed. Okay, so this single record uh, uh, table buffering it will take some time to build this buffer so even though it's less than 95 percent it's not a concern if you find all other buffers greater than 95 percent okay they are generally see here they are generally 99 or 100 okay one or two will be less than 95 okay so uh, that's why when a system is restarted the buffers are invalidated okay except for the program buffer which will contain some preloaded data all other buffers are invalidated when we do a system restart and it will take some days for the buffers to it will take some time depending upon your operations on sap system it will take some time for the buffers to be reconstructed okay so that is about this generic key and uh, single record buffering so single record buffering it will take some time for it to be built so if it's less than 95 percent also we need not worry about that okay um, and what is this hit ratio hit ratio means it is the buffer reads by the logical request okay so how many reads you have done from the buffer by the total number of a logical request logical request means it will contain so many reads so many database calls okay so the hit ratio is how much reads are done to the buffer by the total number of logical requests and the quality quality is defined as the same database calls by the same database calls plus the calls which are made to the database okay so that is the quality of the buffer so all these things we can uh, uh, explore from sto2 that is the tune summary okay so in this video we have learned the two types of table buffers the single record table buffer and the generic table buffer and the other important thing is sto2 where we find various things like the buffer sizes the hit ratios the buffer qualities okay the free space in the buffers the whatever spaces already used okay the different types of buffers the quality etc all these things can be studied from sto2 and the other important thing is like the hit ratios and the buffer qualities should be as high as greater than 95 percent if there is if they are less then you have to analyze and find out like why it is less okay so this is about a brief uh, summary about uh, the types of table buffers and the buffer quality okay so the stable buffering uh, I have divided into four different videos the first one is like what is table buffering second video we have learned about how synchronization happens among different buffers in the third video we have learned about the restrictions and the recommendations for table buffering in this last video sub video of table buffering we have studied about what are the types of table buffers and uh, the buffer quality okay so sto2 is the transaction where we can study all these things we can analyze and tune our system performance thank you